Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at algebraic fractions and uh, how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. We're going to take a look at two examples. The first one has constants in the denominator. The second one has actual algebraic uh, expressions in the denominator. And they're just slightly different in uh, how we do them. So we'll take a first look at the first one. Um, we have 2x plus 5 over 2 minus x minus 1 over 9. Now, this is we treat algebraic fractions the same as we treat normal numerical fractions. We need to have a common denominator in order to add or subtract them. So in this case, I'm going to find the lowest common denominator, which is 18. Now, I'm going to rewrite both of these fractions with a denominator of 18. The first one, if I want to change 2 into 18, I will multiply it by 9. If I multiply the denominator by 9, then I have to multiply the numerator by 9 also. So I'm going to have 9 times 2x plus 5 over 9 times 2. With this one, I need to multiply this 9 by 2. So then, therefore, I need to multiply the top by 2 as well. So it's going to be 2 times x minus 1 over 2 times 9. Now I'll multiply out all these brackets here. 9 times 2x gives me 18x plus 45. That's over 18 minus 2x minus 2. And that's also over 18. Now I have the same denominator in both fractions. I can write them as a single fraction. So it's 18x plus 45 minus 2x minus 2. And this is all over 18. So now it's just a matter of tidying up the top uh, line of the fraction here. So I'm going to have 18 minus 2x, which will give me 16x. Then I'm going to have 45 minus minus 2. 45 minus minus 2 is 45 plus 2. So that's plus 47. And it's all over 18. So when I add these two fractions together, 2x plus 5 over 2 and x minus 1 over 9. Sorry, when I subtract this one from this one, I end up getting 16x plus 47 over 18. Okay, we'll take a look at this one here. Now, this one is a little bit different because we have algebraic expressions in the denominator. But we actually treat it the same. We're still going to find the lowest common denominator. In this case, that's going to be 3x minus 5 times 4x plus 1. So I'm going to write both fractions as this denominator. The first fraction, I already have the 3x minus 5. So to get this here, I need to multiply by 4x plus 1. I'm going to do the same on the top and on the bottom. So 4 x plus 1 times 5 over 4x plus 1 times 3x minus 5. For the other fraction, I have 4x plus 1 in the denominator already, so I need to multiply by 3x minus 5. I'm going to do that above and below. So it's plus 3 x minus 5 times 6 over 3x minus 5 times 4x plus 1. Now, just talk about these denominators here. Even though this it has 4x plus 1 first and 3x minus 5 second, and this is the opposite way around, they're actually the same denominator when you multiply two numbers, the order doesn't matter. Okay, so I can write them now as a single fraction with the denominator. I'll put this one first. 4x plus 1 
times 3x minus 5. And on top then, I'm going to have 4x plus 1 times 5 plus 3x minus 5 times 6. Now it's just a matter of multiplying out the top line here and simplifying down. So 4x times 5 will give me 20x. 1 times 5 is 5. 3x times 6 plus 18x minus 5 times 6 minus 30. Now I'm not going to multiply out the denominator. We tend to leave it just as factors. Um, there's no real advantage to multiplying out the denominator most of the time, so we just leave it like that. Now we'll tidy up the top line. 20x plus 18x, well that's going to be 38x. 5 minus 30 is minus 25. So I get 38x minus 25 over 4x plus 1 times 3x minus 5. So there you have two examples. One with constants in the denominator works out uh, with a constant in the denominator in answer. One with algebraic expressions in the denominator and we end up with an algebraic expression in the denominator in that one. If you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comments below. Um, and thanks for watching. See you next time.